Good afternoon everybody, my name is Warren and if this is the first time you've seen these videos, this is step three of a ten part series of assertiveness videos and we call it the gift of assertiveness. The gift of assertiveness is how you can give people a more assertive view and how you can gain from them much better responses. So we call it the gift of assertiveness and we're covering ten things. Now if you've uh, seen any of the others, check them out, look them out. They are, I would consider, actually very good steps. I've been training people in assertiveness for over 20 years now and I know that even small changes make a big difference. And we're, we're planning these videos in small three or four stage changes that you can make toward your assertiveness. Now, one of the things that I want to do on step number three is to look at how you can be more assertive, but how you can think ahead. Now, one of the things which I've found in doing my assertiveness courses over the years, uh, we teach people phrases, but ways in which to respond. Now, one of the, the, the things we always come back from people is, well, how can you predict what's gonna happen? Well, actually, it is quite easy, because one of the things we need to be able to think about is, one, planning your assertive responses. The type of situations that you encounter every day are very, very predictable. The sort of people that you come in contact with are predictable. So number one is plan your assertiveness. Plan for typical situations in which you encounter at work, at home, outside of work, with friends and family. Plan for typical people. You know the people you encounter. This is one of the tips I'll give to people. It, when you've never had a situation before and you have to assert yourself and you don't and it's a new situation, that's fine. That's life. There's going to be, there are many times in my life I've had to respond to somebody and not being able to think of the right thing at the right time. Somebody asked me to do something, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so you revert back to what you would do behaviourally. That could be passive, it could be assertive, it could be any reaction. But the key thing is to always think about it in terms of, right, what did I do and what will I change the next time? And you can plan for that situation again. Now, the good thing about us with our lives is we come across the same people, the same situations all the time. You just don't know when they're going to occur and you can plan for those assertive situations. Give you an example. Right, I might get home tonight and a typical interaction with my wife might be, good evening, honey, I'm home, how are you? I'm fine, Warren, how are you? What do you want to do tonight? Well, let's go out for a meal. Okay, well I don't really fancy going out for a meal, why don't we stay in and I'll cook something. Now, that's a typical interaction between us. Now it may be that um, we're not going through a great time in a moment and you know, I'm thinking well we need to get out more. So let's assume we have that typical interaction and I say to you, let's go out. She said, no I'd rather stay in. I might then turn around and say, yeah, we always stay in, why don't we, why don't we always stay in, why don't we go out? No, I might go straight into an aggressive mode, and that's not really a very productive way of doing it. Now, if this is something which has been happening for a while, I'm thinking, no, I need to change this. Right, when I go on tonight, so they want to stay in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start giving some alternatives and see which ones come up, and I'm not going to use my old behaviour. I'm going to change my predictable behaviour to something new. But you need to think about what you're going to change, because when you are dealing with difficult situations or situations unplanned for, it's very hard to think on your feet. And this is the thing, don't think on your feet when you're being assertive. So, I might get in and say, hi honey, how are you? Fine, Warren, how are you? How was your day? Good, yeah, how was your day? Fantastic. What do you want to do tonight? I think I'd like to stay in a bit tired. Okay, well I'll tell you what we can do. We can stay in and let's watch TV. I can do some cooking. What we could also do, if you want, we could uh, go out for something to eat, then come back and have um, watch a bit of TV or go to bed. Um, I also think about also, I mean, we've got this good weather barbecue outside. Why don't we do that? Now, what we're doing there is giving some different reactions to a situation. What will we get from there? I don't know, but there's three different options to choose from. And one of the things about thinking about planning ahead for typical situations, typical people, change of behaviours, is you're changing the normal results you get from what we call your ingrained behaviour, your learned behaviour.